Hi, Pavilion friends. I'm Miss Mercedes. Welcome to the Carver Classroom at your Washington Pavilion. I'm here today where I would usually be teaching classes, but since we're closed, I'd like to show you a few fun art activities you can try at home. Hey, here we are, ready to do some more activities that you can do from home. So right here I have some more junk mail art, um, things that you can do with magazines or calendars. Uh, maybe you have an old Reader's Digest sitting around. But what's really fun about these sculptures is you can make them up as you go. All you do is you repeat the way you fold a page. So for this page right here, I started by folding the top all the way down to meet the center. And then I folded the side in so it was flat. So maybe I could turn this into a house or something later, right? So it looked kind of like this. I'm gonna open up a page and get it ready. I'm gonna fold it down and then crease it and fold the edge in. Crease it and repeat. And the more you repeat, the neater your sculpture is going to look. If you look over here at this one, this sculpture I did um, a simple, simple design also where I just folded one down to the center and then I folded the bottom edge up to the center. And the same thing, you just repeat, repeat, repeat until the entire book is done. When you're finished, you can turn your sculpture into something if you want to. I made this into a little mouse with ears, a button nose, and some pipe cleaners and scraps. Another simple, easy one that you can do with some junk mail, if you have a little card or something here, all you would need for this um, is a scissors and maybe some tape but I'm gonna fold it like this, or you could actually fold it like this, depending on what kind of creature you're making and how wide you want his um, body to be. So say I cut right here, just a little U shape out of the raw edge, not the folded edge. And then when I open that up, that can be the body of my animal, just like you can see the body of this animal here. Then you can use this part to make whatever kind of head you want, right? You've got a few pieces here so I could cut a tail if I wanted. And you could use that um, technique where you just slit or you could tape it on. So I'm just gonna make a slit here and make a slit here and then push the little slots together, right? And secure it like that. Or you could try glue, but if you don't have glue at home, that works just as well. If I wanna make a head, maybe this is gonna be, should it be a puppy, like a wiener dog, right? So I can cut out the shape that I want my head to be. Maybe cut some little ears out for my little pup. And I could tape on, draw a face, and then I have another animal just like that. So using my junk mail, I can make sculptures of animals. I can just make freeform sculptures. Anything you can think of, use your imagination and see what you can come up with.